So our local focus this week, we have local photographer Richard McCarthy. You're very welcome to the show thanks and thanks for, for thanks coming for in. Me. No problem at all. Well, so for anyone that doesn't know you, tell us a bit more about yourself and the business. Um, well, I'm a wedding portrait and commercial photographer, so I do kind of a bit of everything. Mm. Um, I've also done event photography in the past, um, but it's kind of a case of whatever people need me for is, is what I do. Yeah. But primarily my work is weddings. 75% um, of my work will be weddings about 25% commercial and a little bit of portraits as well. Okay. And out of those three, the weddings, portraits and commercial, like what is your favorite creatively? Because photographers by the nature are creative people. Uh, yeah. you know, what's, the, what's one do you enjoy creatively and which is the most challenging? Okay, well, um, creatively, I suppose, weddings, I love weddings because every wedding is different and you get yeah. to do a little bit of creativity. We'll say we call it the creative part, like for that reason, yeah. um, where we get to do kind of fun stuff. Um, but let's like say commercial wise, you get to have a bit more fun as well. And, they're always looking for something that makes the photo different. Mm. So like next week, I'm photographing Puppy of the Year for Pet Mania. So we're going photographing this, okay. <laughs> this uh, rescue dog in uh, Strand Hill on the beach, in the water and stuff. So that's going to be- a Bit of fun then. Bit of fun, I yeah, did an exactly. usual day at work like, you know, so that's Yeah, good. exactly. So it's, it's always, every day is different, you know, yeah, so yeah. it makes it That's good. And which one would you find most challenging and the most pressure? I'm not saying that it's, it's horrible, but just, you know. Uh, weddings would be the most pressure. I yeah, imagine, yeah. I imagine so. Um, yeah. But it, it's something that you kind of, you get used to and mm. you kind of, you kind of do enough preparation beforehand to make sure that you don't have any surprises. Yes, and like a typical wedding, I mean, people only see you here and there during the day, but what kind of time does it take between all that day, uh, before, the, before the mass and the reception, most people see you, but all that day, and then even the edits, like what kind of time are you talking um, to put in? Well, on the day, you're talking about 14 hours. So you're normally there from nine in the morning till about 10 or 11 at night. Wow. So you're from the groom prep right up to the first dance. Yeah. Um, and that's just taking the photographs. And then afterwards, you might have taken about 3,000 photographs in the day, and you have to go treat all of those and reduce them I, down. I couldn't do that 3,000, <laughs> oh, I go mental. Well, you see, you're, you're, shooting in, you're shooting in triplicate all the time. So literally, yeah. the idea literally is everybody blinks within three photos. So okay. if you shoot three at a time, you're not having to constantly check the camera to make sure yes. the eyes are open and stuff like that. So it, it really narrows it down to five or 600, but you do have to go through them and just go, mm, okay, that's the one. Okay. And the great thing now is there's a lot of programs now that there's AI programs that will actually go through the photographs and they'll check for eyes and stuff. Wow. So it helps you in that way as well. So it, it, it takes a bit of time, all right. Um, yeah. The editing side of it afterwards, you're talking maybe two or three days um, mm -hmm. and then getting the photos out and then you've got the wedding albums and the thank you cards and the yeah, wall yeah, art. Yeah. So on average, it takes about a week per wedding. Okay, so, so well, all, that, all the pay is work, well yeah. deserved. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so on, on, a, on a wedding day itself, like what's the one shot you would see? So I'm sure you come across some couples that go, oh, I don't want that, I don't want this. Would you go, mm -hmm. look, trust me, this is the one shot you want to get. Is there one magic shot you always say, make sure you get this one? Um, there, there probably is, there's a few to be honest with you, but the, the most important ones is the family shots. I think yes, I we're always say. telling couples like, you know, it, it, it's something that you look back on in, mm -hmm. in 10 years, 20 years. And um, it, it's, it's, it's some of the shots I call them the granny shots. It's the ones that granny wants, you know, yeah, so it's yeah, for yeah. the two of them looking at the camera and stuff like that. But um, the family shots would be one of the ones I always say, look, make the time for the family ones. They're the ones. And get them all in. And get them all in, <laughs> exactly. And, and try and kind of make sure everybody's kind of, you know, yeah. Covered, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have one shot our own wedding and it's nearly everyone big yeah. from a balcony at the hotel. Oh, like, yeah, it's like the one shot shots. everyone keeps talking about when you come yeah. in the house. Like, so it is, I would definitely recommend, as you said, the family one. That's and like, they might not always be there forever, so it's just a well, nice well, moment in it. time. Like, you know? um, I was at a conference uh, two years ago and there was a photographer talking about, he'd gone back and he'd asked um, all his brides from about five years ago, what was their favorite photograph from the wedding? And he was surprised that 90% of them came back with the photograph of their aunt or a photograph of granny that passed away or ah. it wasn't the one that he put up on Instagram or yeah. Facebook or anything yeah. like that. It was the ones that were natural and just caught the moment right. You know, the yeah, emotional yeah. I think the, the, the natural ones often are, they're, they're, they're just much nicer. Yeah. Like, you know, but that's where the camera of the photographer is on the ball there. That's where you're earning your bucks there, like <laughs> finding that right one. Uh, have you had any nightmare stories or funny moments over the years? Um, I haven't had any nightmares, touch okay. wood, thank yes. God. Um, I, I kind of always wake up, and Brian probably is the same, you know, you wake up on a Saturday, if you don't have a wedding on a Saturday, and you wake up and you kind of go, do I have a wedding today? And you kind of start to panic. And you've, got that, <laughs> you've got that 30 seconds of panic, and you're like, okay, no, I don't. don't um, do but um, we've had funny stories, like we say. We've had um, scenarios where, uh, especially in church violent weddings, they tend to have on the altar, there's like a, a grate at the top of the altar. Okay. So when they're doing the rings, you're trying to make sure they don't drop the rings into the, the grate. Oh. So we've had one or two weddings where, you know, the groom is nervous and all of a sudden the ring goes doom, down through the grates. So I've had one And is three. it easy to retrieve? Like, is there a yeah, you have to or, lift up the grate. Okay, okay, not too you, bad. You so. can get them up, but it, it's just it's a funny moment. Well, no one will ever let him forget that. No, 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 no
Uh, like with the world of Instagram nowadays, like everyone's a photographer now, so you know you're doing well to be in a job at all, obviously. But like, do you get more peculiar requests nowadays, or do you get people telling you how to take photos sometimes? Uh, well, you'll always <laughs> have people telling you how to take photos, and, and again, it's it's their day as well, so no, I don't I know, mind that, you know. Yeah, and, and yeah. It's quite funny. We have this kind of running bet with photographers. Like, there's always somebody with an iPad, and it's generally the older generation of the iPad. Yeah. And I remember doing a wedding, and it was a long aisle. And I got in all the photographs of the bridegroom coming down the aisle, and there was these two old ladies at the back of the church, and they had snuck out onto the <laughs> into the aisle to take the photograph. And the, the lady on the outside had gotten the photograph, and the other lady was still trying to get it with her iPad. So the other lady was like, come in, they're coming. And she just shoved them in <gasps> out of the way. Oh and it was just so funny that the, the videographer was there and myself laughing over this. But it, it's, it's moments like that that kind of, you know, we always think they make great shots as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, I suppose the, the funniest kind of scenario would be, or sorry, the... With Instagram, it's more a case of um, explaining, we'll say, like, so if you want to do a photograph on a, a, a sunny beach mm. with the sun and the whole lot and everything, but your wedding is in the middle of winter, uh, you know, some things are just not realistic. Yeah. And, you know, when you explain that to couples, they understand. Um, okay. But you try anything I've been asked to do, I always say, no problem, let's, let's do it. Let's do it and see. Um, I had a great uh, wedding this year, um, right in the middle of COVID. It was a couple that got married, and the bride had requested the, a photograph of her riding her horse across the beach in Strida. Wow. And it was this beautiful <laughs> photograph and there was literally the water on the ground and you had the mirror reflection in oh, the water wow. as she was going up and down the beach on the horse in her wedding dress. I want to see that photo fantastic. now. Like, is that anywhere public now? Uh, I think probably Brian has it there, but I don't know if he got it up. But, um, okay, well, we'll it, share it during the week. It's something we will, yeah. We'll oh, have that share sounds amazing. Really and cool. brave on her taking yeah, that gamble. <laughs> well, like, if you want to do something like that in your day, we'll no do problem, it. you just... Uh, and any tips for a great smile? In a picture, because you have to make smile. a lot of people oh. smile and not all of them want to. Um, I always tell people, don't, don't think about smiling. So mm. the hardest thing is when you tell somebody to smile, they'll do what we call a Chandler smile where they overdo the smile. Yes. Um, so I'm always kind of, the best tip I ever got was to, if, if somebody's quite nervous about the smile, get them to close their eyes and think of something funny they did that week. You know, okay. make something that made them laugh. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And then just open your eyes and smile. And it creates this kind of a natural smile. Yeah, yeah. Um, for the guys, there's always a great tip I heard where, if you keep saying yes, it kind of keeps the smile going. Okay. So you're going, yes. <laughs> so a lot of times I hear a lot of... Um, I hear a lot oh, of well, we, oh, we, yeah. we have... The, I think it's up on the screens there I for the viewers. Yeah. What a shot. So it was a beautiful... Oh, my God. The day and everything as well, so it was fantastic. Sorry, you know? for anyone watching, we're seeing it on our own monitor, so I hope you're seeing it at home. I think you are. It is, that is one of the best photos I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Wow, that is class. And as I said... Fair play to the bride. That was that was yeah, brave effort, but what? Well worth it. Oh my oh, god! Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so yeah, I think I think the best thing about we say if if you are kind of worried about your smile and stuff like that, say it to your photographer and like you know he'll he'll give you tips and stuff like that okay. and all that. And you know everybody has a natural smile. I always say. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. so it might not be the perfect smile, but it's their smile. Yeah. So obviously, no more than everyone, you've been living through COVID and weddings have been on and off and on and off, but they're shorter now. So do you have any tips for someone like you know look? You're, you haven't had loads of weddings. I've been at loads of weddings. Have you little tips for them to go make sure your day runs smoothly, even though they want to get the photos and they want to get X, Y, and D, X, um, Z fitted in? I suppose the best thing is to start with a timeline for the day. So sit down with your photographer, work out the times of the day to make sure that you all, everything you want to do mm. is covered. Um, I try and kind of have uh, a safety net. We say I, I have kind of this a rule or kind of a, a theory that we say, if your wedding is at half 12, you should have be ready to go at 12 o'clock. So literally the, the, the photos are done and the whole lot. So you've got a half hour to relax and enjoy yeah, kind yeah. of that time. Because the, the girls especially, they're up from six o'clock in the morning, getting their hair makeup done. And it's rush, rush, rush and the whole lot. So it's lovely for them to get that half hour to just relax and have some yeah. champagne and just take it all in. Um, a lot of couples are bringing their time to call for the meal a little bit earlier. So they're sitting down for the meal about a half hour earlier. Um, and the reason for that is so the band, Brian won't like this, but the band <laughs> set up a little bit early. <laughs> oh, um, them cursed bands. I know, huh? I know. <laughs> So it, it, it's, it's, it's good in that way. And, and like we said, I had a wedding in the Radisson last week and it was fantastic because everything ran like clockwork and they had the meal over by, I think it was about half seven and oh. the band were setting up and the first dance by half eight. Oh, lovely. So they had a good two hours of, of dancing before yes. beforehand. So. But a bit of planning. And like I said, whether it's planning, yourself, yeah. the, the wedding coordinator, there's loads of people that Absolutely. have gone through more weddings than the yeah, couple. Exactly. Ask their advice of what's the pitfalls like, you yeah. know? And like I recently read somewhere that uh, there was a photographer a blogging saying how they could tell, they were very confident they could tell after shooting at a wedding uh, whether that couple were going to last or not. Have you seen, if, could you say you'd have a good guess as well now? Would you? Um, I, 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 have my, I have my theories, but I find that there's always, I've, every wedding that I've done, yeah. I've seen moments of kind of raw kind of emotion or romance. 
kind of going, okay, they'll be fine, you know? Yes, um, yes. They mightn't show it all the time, so there's, there is a lot of couples that don't display public displays of affection, yeah, yeah. they're not big into kissing and stuff like that, but you find those times, you're with them all day, and there's times where, you know, they, when they have a bit of privacy, they, they, they become themselves, they okay, become friends and, relax. and, and, and relax, That's when you so see right. the real gems. Yes, then. exactly. Yeah, you know? There you go. Uh, so finally, before we let you go, uh, tell people where again they can find you. What's the website um, or social media or whatever? Everything's on richardmccarthy.ie. Um, I think um, on social media is like Richard McCarthy Photography, photography. or RMC, RMC Photography. I think it all kind of comes under that. So. And well, listen, thank you for coming in. You're thanks welcome, no thanks for hanging around. I know we kept you a bit later than we planned. Okay. And we will be sharing that photo on its own <laughs> uh, in the social media the next coming days. Like, that's fabulous. So. Yeah. Richard, best of luck with the rest of the COVID no weddings and hopefully there won't be too many more of them that will be back to normal Perfect. again very soon. Thanks, Brendan. So if you liked what you just seen, don't forget to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel here. We have loads of great interviews from a load of really interesting people over the series. And if you're on social media, which I'm sure loads of you are, we are on Instagram and Facebook, so give us a follow there.